Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Leadership 2020. It's transforming accounting and finance professionals into leaders. Now I'm going to talk about finance transformation roadmap. So if you can see on your screens, this is the complete roadmap that would be quite useful if you would like to transform your accounting and finance function from the average to world class. So if you see on the Y axis on the left hand side, this is this is the diverse skill set that your accounting and finance team need in order to transform your finance function that usually includes the data analytics ranging from descriptive analytics and diagnostic analytics to predictive and prescriptive analytics. Because when we talked about acting as a finance business partner or a strategic advisor to business, we really don't need to do masters in supply chain or marketing or some other non-finance business functions like HR or IT. What we need to do, we can make and leverage the use of data analytics to support different finance functions. For example, using the customer analytics, you can support sales and marketing function. Using operations analytics, you can support your supply chain operations function. Using people analytics, you can support your HR function. So using this data analytics techniques, which I'm going to talk about now, you can support your business function as an advisor or as a strategist. So if you see on the x-axis, these are the advanced toolkit that you should have in order to transform your finance function from average to world class. So at a very low level, if we see that the reporting side, this is usually all the traditional accounting and finance function they're doing. The accounting section, they do the monthly closing then the financial reporting manager or the accounts and finance manager they do the reporting they report the past performance that includes the financial performance financial position the cash flow position for the last month or for the last period then to some extent they also do some sort of analysis so in the reporting side so in the reporting side they are just working on like what happened in the business so if we take the example of sales let's suppose you can use the similar example for your expenditure for opex and capex as well so if we take the example of sales to understand it, this roadmap let's suppose in the reporting you mentioned that your sales has been declined for the last period or for the last month so this is comes under the reporting then you do some sort of descriptive analytics where do you analyze like where did it happen this usually most of the finance function they do for example which products or services sales decline in which market segment it decline in which region it decline this usually we do in our dashboards and our different business intelligence tools that we usually use this sort of reporting and analyzing and analysis we usually do and we act as a reporter or commentator here but in order to move upward at a more advanced level you have to do some sort of diagnostic analysis as well where you will ask question like why did it happen for example if the sales declined or dropped for the last month or for the last period why the sales decline what was the reason is it due to some internal reasons or due to some internal factors like your quality your operations your supply chain or is it due to some external factors like competitor actions or changes in the industry or markets or changes in the consumer behavior or changes in the economy so there could be several external and internal factors so here you can do in the diagnostic analysis or diagnostic analytics you can do some sort of analysis like why the sales happened why did it happen then if you move one step further and you want to act as an advisor, then you should not only talk about the past. You have to talk about the future that you can do it using the predictive analytics. Like here, if you can see what might happen. For example, if we take our example of sales, like if the sales has been declined during the last couple of months or for the last period, 
then you should be able to predict what is going to happen next whether the sales will further decline whether the sales will remain same or whether sales are expected to be increased based on your analysis lots of internal factors and external factors could be on that basis on that analysis on that data you have to predict the future then at the most highest level at the world class level you have to act as a strategist and to act as a strategist you need to use the prescriptive analytics like if the sales decline and the you have the sales prediction for the upcoming months what is going to happen next you should be able to advise to your management how can we make it happen if you are acting as a strategist you should give recommendations or prescriptions to your management like what strategic move they should take to increase their sales to increase their revenue for example it could be changes in your business models it could be changes in your customer value proposition depending upon lots of analysis what you do already you do in this uh, analytics and tools which you did you can on this basis you can advise your senior management or your board or your ceo like what strategic move what should we do next how we can make it happen so here it called as a prescriptive analytics so these are the analytical tools or you can say the analytical intelligence that your finance and accounting function can use to act as a finance business partner or a strategic advisor to your business and these are the different tools and this should be in your advanced toolkit for example obviously the reporting we are doing usually from the excel if you see on here on the x axis we were usually doing in the excel for past several years now we have powerful erp systems sap oracle and different erp powerful systems we have already that you can use then for the data analytics now we have also lots of data analytical tools available in the market for example w or python or r programming and also several analytical tools offered by sap and oracle as well so if you see on the x axis here when you acting as a strategist you have to not only report the numbers and making predictions you have to have a big influence on the organization on every non finance business functions and you have to collaborate with all non finance business functions for example you have to establish very strong business or working relationship with the sales and marketing function then only you can only able to get all the data and insights regarding the customers like why the sales happen where did it happen how it is going to shape in the future so this all these questions analysis obviously you can do only when you have a strong collaboration strong working relationship with the sales and marketing function and you can support them using your analytics you don't need to do masters in sales or marketing to advise them you can use your analytics techniques you can use your diagnostic analytics predictive analytics your understanding of the business in the understanding of the value creation model of your business understanding of the market understanding of industry you can support them and you can advise them basically what steps what strategic move they should take so here the collaboration is very important and the influence influence needs your leadership skills so here it comes into play your relationship building skills and the leadership skills that are very important so you can see here different tools and techniques that you can use like you can use some visualization analytical tool as i already explained you so if you want to implement this culture or we can say analytic culture in your organization first of all what is the most important thing is about the mindset you should have the strategic mindset or the business mindset if you have a traditional accounting or number crunching mindset of course this is not possible to transform your accounting function so first and the most important thing if you see here on the x axis this is your mindset you should have the right mindset you have the growth mindset you have the strategic mindset so not only you support and contribute but you will be able to influence and impact your strategic business decisions and help the organization to accomplish its strategic objectives then the second most important thing is the people of course you should have the right people you should have the right processes then as we already talked about if you see on the y axis the analytical intelligence 
for example predictive analytics prescriptive analytics you should have this in your toolbox then you should have the systems in place like analytical tools like Tableau, as I mentioned, different analytical tools are available in the market. SAP, Oracle, they are also offering. Even you can outsource your analytical data analytics to some outsourcing from these days. So lots of options are available. So this is basically the complete roadmap. If you want to implement this culture and if you want your accounting and finance function to move from the role of reporter, commentator to advisor and a strategist.